So today we will be creating a simple overlay component using React and CSS. And I already have a React application set up. Inside that we will create a new component called overlay. Inside that we will have a JavaScript file. And let's create our component. So first let's import a stylesheet that we will create in a second code overlay.css um, and we can create that in the same folder overlay.css for now let's leave it empty and let's create our component so we will create a function called overlay that will accept three props so it will accept is open which is a boolean that will let us know if the overlay is open or not and on close which will be able to toggle the is open property on the parent component so we can close our overlay and the children so any other component we want to render inside our overlay and inside here we will just render some JSFs so we will use a fragment to wrap a condition inside that if it's open then render our component otherwise just return null and if it's open, then we are adding a div code overlay. And inside our overlay, we're going to add a couple of other elements. So we are going to add a background or a backdrop. And what this will do is it will uh, cover, cover the whole screen and it will be a bit darker in color so it will be more obvious for the user that here is um, an overlay on the page so let's call this overlay background and this if you click outside of our overlay and on the backdrop then it will close our component and that's it so now I'm going to say some close and the next one will be where we actually render the content it's going to be the overlay content now inside our overlay content uh, sorry I'm what I meant to say is container inside our overlay container we are going to have we are going to have um two elements rendered inside so first we're gonna have another div where we will display any uh, controls or anything that we might have and on the same level we're gonna render any children so inside the controls we can add in a button and the class name will just be overlay close and they will use this to just render a simple button and if you click on it it will close our component from close and that's it and that should be it so what this does is it renders our component it renders our component and it attaches a background and in the middle of the screen we're gonna have our component and, and on the top right corner I will place a button that we can handle as a close button and inside our content area we will uh, render any children that we passed into now let's import this into our app.js folder uh, app.js file and let's just remove the header and in here we can uh, well first we're gonna have to add the state so is overlay open set is overlay open so we will use this to actually control the state of our component and in that should be it and then we can import our overlay so import overlay from our components folder 
and after that we are going to render our overlay passing the props that we have his overlay open and on close we are going to set his overlay open to not his overlay open so if it's true it will set false if it's false it is a true and that's how we handle our toggle mechanism and I um, forgot we are also going to pass in uh, we are going to pass in some content for our um, overlay so we will say content or we just going to say hello from overlay now right now we can't open our overlay at all so we're going to have to create a button to open it on the first interaction so here yeah, this is going to be the same let's go back set his overlay open not his overlay open and that should be it now let's check in the browser uh yep i forgot to deliver to my um button so let's say open overlay Now you see we have it open, but there is one thing that's completely missing, it's the styling, because the CSS that really makes an overlay an overlay. So now it's time that we will handle that part. So if you remember we created an overlay uh, CSS file, so it's time that we create the um, styling for that. So let's start with the uh, background. I will add my overlay component here so I can easily reference it but we first of all we want a background color on the backdrop so we know it's gonna be a visual cue that it's open or closed and it will be more obvious we want it to be the full screen and we want it to be the full height of the screen so it completely blocks out the whole position and talking about position we are going to use fixed position and for you we are going to place it top zero and left zero and because it also have a click handler we are adding a cursor pointer on it so it will be a visual cue that you can click it and it something will happen and just that simple change already made such a difference because you already get a visual feeling that something happened. So now let's create the rest of the styling. So we are going to next with the overlay container. Now the background color here, here will be white. So for the reason that you will see, oh actually this is the, the size and everything, so it's not gonna make any change for now so top zero right zero bottom left it's march in auto and the z index to be on top of the backdrop that we created we're going to add a bit of a padding uh, so it can make it a little bit nicer and for now we just let let it fit the content of whatever we're passing so we're not going to have a hard coded size so this white area will grow and shrink based on the content we pass into um, our overlay and now we can create our close button because if you look at it we have everything sorted out but that is a sore thumb even though it works it's not really obvious that it's a button so let's create the um, styling for the wrapper first so let's position to the top right so we are going to use the display flex and justify the uh, content to the flex end so it's going to be the top right um, and the line items center so it will be centered in the row so it's already in a much nicer position and as you saw, we, we have the button, do we have the, so we didn't pass in any label, 
is because I'll use CSS to create a visual representation, like an icon that it is um, clickable and it's um, instead of just adding an X or anything, we are going to do it with CSS. So we are going to do that with the author selector. Um, so first let's create, let's remove the border and let's make the background transparent. And uh, let's increase the font size that we're going to use. And again, pointer cursor. So it's a, another visual key with that. So once someone hovers over it, they can see it's clickable. And for the icon, we are going to use a content option. And it's going to be 00D7. And there we go. We have X. You can open it. If you click inside, it's not closing. If you click on the X, it's closing. Or if you click outside, it's closing again. So that's it. Uh, it's a very simple component, very easy to do. Obviously, it's a very simple use case. So you can, we can obviously extend it much more. We can add more styling. We can add more options, um, you know, like break it down a header, content or body and footer section in the overlay. We can add animations. We can open it from either direction. Um, we can add keyboard navigation. So let me know if this was in helpful in, in any way for you. And if you would like me to um, iterate on this component and extend a bit more, then just leave a comment and I will do my best. Thanks for watching.